Welcome everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday so far. So just let me uh, just make sure I'm connected here. I think I'm connected. Let me just get some paints out. Let me get my paints out yet. Just to move my camera over so you can see what I have here. Let's see white. And let me see. I think I'm going to work on these green areas here. Just kind of increase some highlights and shadows in here. I put a, a little, a few shadows in here just to make them look like they're kind of standing up a little bit. So, give me a second here. I'll get my stuff together. Some white, need some sappy green. Warmer out today, thank God. It's been freezing out here. Even even in Florida, it gets cold. Sappy green out. Get a little bit of raw umber. Raw umber. to put the heat on last night, which was nice. A brown color. Yeah, a little bit of... Stuff together before I start. All right, now. <coughs> now. Spread away here. Bring it. I'm trying to bring this thing closer than I usually do, just to so you can see it a little bit better. Bring the green areas. You put in some highlights in there first just to kind of set them off a little bit better. White, green, and yellow. Touch of brown. Yeah, I'll test this, see if this is bright enough. Like certain areas of it, I want it to be brighter, like right in there. Tiny bit here and there. Bring this to life a little bit more. There. Let me get up to a color that's going to show up enough. It has to be bright enough to show. Right there. Too bright. That comes down there like that. Lighter highlight. Like right along the edges of them. Right there, I'm gonna define the edge of those a little bit so it stands out a little bit better. Put that back a little. I 
I'm kind of highlighting the edges so it makes them look like they're standing up a little bit more. Yeah, so we're going to be like a lot brighter so like this one. That'd be real bright. That gives contrast to the other ones there. A little bit less bright, like right in there, is a little bit of a variation there in tone. A little bit of variation in tone. Back. It's sort of coming to life now a little bit more. Yeah, here's a little bit of light along the uh, vein there in the middle of the uh, feather. You don't have to put them everywhere, just kind of, you know, just sometimes a little, a little subtle highlight is better than a little big highlight. There. Branch out a little like that in that direction. That looks kind of cool that way. More. And on the top of this one, we'll make that bring that out a little bit more there. A bit more brightness on the edge of that one. I'll just leave that like that instead of you know, kind of feather it this way a little. Bring that out a little there. Back up here, this little, let's see, the brightness right there. On the edge of this one's a little bit. Find more. Find the edge. Find there, just find there. come to life a little bit more, right? That one, make that a little bit brighter. Make that so it looks like it's standing up a little bit there. Try not to touch over here. I don't want to I don't mess up things I already put on there. Brightness in there. Just 
Keep the continuity of it. Just a little wear. <clears throat> Here a little bit. Just make it look like there's a little bit of that color there, kind of in there, here and there. If you like my videos, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. That helps my channel a lot. Yeah, we can weather that out a little bit there. Hey, the blue ones down in here, I want to kind of work on those a little bit there. <clears throat> Make some sky blue. Bring those out a little more. Nice and light. Just a little detail round brush for this part. Just a little bit brighter, a little tiny little, little highlight on there. A little bit brighter in places. See the white and blue. It's a little mixed. All right, so like right up here, a little bit of a highlight in the uh, reference. Maybe indicate that a little bit there. And here is a little bit of light. Maybe a little bit too dark, or even too light in there. And here to kind of define that shape a little bit better. The birds, the birds are attacking. one, fix that sheet there.
the sheet for that one right there. Get rid of that. A little bit of a darker highlight color. Try to bring that down. A little bit darker down here. That's interesting down here because it's a little, I want more of the focus up here. Shake that one a little. Hope you can see where I am here. Let me shake that. Man, these birds are really getting aggressive, aren't they? Maybe they're nervous because I'm painting a bird. <laughs> Streets in there. Try to define some edges there. Go into some straight blue. Just sort of breeze that in there a little bit here and there just to make it a little bit more colorful. Give a little bit of variety in color too, which is nice. I just lost some of my highlights. So let me go back with that. And just in here and there, just gonna put a little light in there. So that's looking halfway normal. Find it a little bit better there. So that's looking pretty good. I think uh, I'm going to leave this purple area like it is. I kind of like the way it looks there. Here, and here in this blue part. Down here in this blue part, a little bit of highlight on the edge of that, and make that come to life a little bit more. Not messing with it too much. I want to kind of make that a little bit darker right in there. Take a little black and medium, put a little bit of a glaze on that part. Just 
I call this a negative shadow, uh, a negative highlight, actually. I put shadows on top of shadows in certain areas. I didn't hit the whole area, I'm just going to hit part of it. Just like you do with a highlight, you only put in a highlight in certain areas. Make it here, maybe a little bit more dark. Blend it out a little bit. Back in here. Just a little bit of something there. Just make that look a little bit more interesting right there. And with this claw, I'm going to darken that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of go over it just slightly. I'm not covering it all. Right up in here, I'm kind of darken there, there. Just a little bit better. Underneath there, I kind of brought that to the light floor. It's not just highlights, it's shadows. Shadows bring it to life. A little bit dark in there. And up in here, or is it is a dark and all that a little bit more. It's going to make that livelier. Darks inside of darks. That's one of my secrets. Shh, don't tell anybody. And his eye. He's going to. That a little bit more, it got a little bit darker, a little bit bigger. Makes them look a little livelier there. A little bit in there, darker. So I think I'll, what am I going to do? I think I'll sign it now. I think I'll sign it, but it's not going to be completely done. I'll take another look at it later, maybe tomorrow. I'm just going to look at anything that could possibly be done to improve on it. Up here, bring it over here. Let me see. Let's see. I'll use a crimson color, a little black. Signature on there. 
Just line your brush. Just come over here. And put a quick signature on. Signed Mark Charles. Charles, my middle name. Charlesy, Charlie. I'm gonna make the S a little fun. I always put the year on. Always put the year on. It was kind of a hard number to keep. One. Here we are. That's it. It's not completely done, but it's almost done. So if we bring it back, you can see the whole thing. And that is my macaw parrot oil painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. You enjoyed this video and thanks for watching see you next time You're welcome to send me some ideas of what to paint next i'm always looking for ideas see you guys next time thanks for watching